As I prepared our morning breakfast that day, my 30-year-old son entered the room. I knew this day would come, but still, as a mother, it came all too soon. Seeing my son with his packed satchel over his shoulder and a rolled-up mat under his arm told me all I needed to know. No, no, son, not yet. Yes, dear mother, it is time. (laughs) I will always love you. You know that. I will always love you, my son. May Adonai go with you everywhere you go. (laughs) Seeing him leave our home that day, embarking on his own, was not easy to take. Even though I still had his brothers and his sisters near me, I would so miss him. It would not be the same, yet it had to be. I learned later of how Jesus' path intertwined with Elizabeth's son at the Jordan River. I so wish I could have seen it. Her son, John the Immerser, they called him, administered this divine mitzvah as a legitimate descendant of Aaron. Yet, John relinquished his right to a priesthood, and God bestowed on Jesus an eternal one, fulfilling David's prophetic words. I wish I could have been there to hear the Father's affirmation, sealing this with his own voice from heaven. Just a short time later, I grieved for Elizabeth when I learned of John's death at the hands of wicked King Herod. Once Jesus left for his ministry work, I didn't get to see him very often. When he was nearby, we would visit. But his work, his father's work, took him all around the land. He rarely stayed in one place for long. I found new delight in our holy days, though, because I knew I would get to see him then. Still, With so many crowding into Jerusalem, we had very little quiet time together. Yet, these remained the highlights of my years. Although I never knew when he'd be close to home again, I always knew he'd be in Jerusalem for the feast three times every year, just as the Torah required. (sighs) With each passing year of his ministry, my heart grew more nervous. I saw the sign, and I heard the rumors. I felt the chilling air. Trouble brewed, and the mother in me wanted so desperately to stop it, to shield him, to protect him, to keep him safe, safe with me. I regretted that James and the other siblings didn't believe in him as Messiah like I did. I prayed they would believe someday. Yet, I knew I couldn't count on them for whatever I feared was ahead. Oh, how I prayed for God to intervene and protect him from dangers. I reminded God of the prophecies about him, our Messiah but the heavens seem brass. As Passover drew near, my son James, along with my other children, came with me to Jerusalem to stay with dear friends who always welcomed us. Soon after we arrived, our Passover celebrations were abruptly interrupted by one of Jesus' students, also named John, who is the son of Zebedee. Welcome, Mary, Jane. Here, I'll take your Omel bundle and place it with ours until first fruits morn. Ezra and James can take these to the temple then. Thank you. I'll go check on the others outside and see if they need any help. You'll find Ezra probably in the fields out back, James. He'll be delighted to know that you've arrived. Dear Miriam, Thank you for welcoming us. 
You're always so gracious to care for all of us each year. It's a joy to have you here. I miss Jesus being with you though. What's it been now? Three years? Yes, three and a half. I fear for him, Miriam. I hear the talk of the town, the leaders. They oppose him. I don't know what they might try to- There, there, Mary. Don't let your mind wonder, my dear. We know he is Messiah. God will take care of him. You mustn't worry. <sighs> yes, you are right. I knew opposition continually grew against him. I knew he would be in Jerusalem for this feast. The human mother in me wished he would stay away. But the woman of God in me knew he must come. Still, as Passover grew closer, my concerns for my son intensified. John, what's wrong? Dear Mary, you must hurry. They've taken him. <gasps> Here's your cloak. Hurry, I'll take care of the others. Oh, thank you, dear friend. God go with you, Mary. soldier ripped across my own heart also. I crumbled into John's arms, frozen in fear, withering in pain. This could not be happening. No, this is not how it was supposed to be.